Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel, Ask Jimmy Smith. Today, I'm excited to be going through a tutorial video uh, of RevSeller and how you can use this Google Chrome extension, not just for checking profitability, but also for at least five different ways that you can now use it to source products in a much quicker way than you could before. I have recommended RevSeller for a long time at this point on my channel, in my book, etc. And I've actually done videos on how to properly set up your settings in RevSeller to make sure that you are uh, looking at the right profitability settings for the ASINs that you're analyzing. Uh, and if you want to check out uh, RevSeller, you can do so at askjimmysmith.com forward slash RevSeller. You can get a discount on year one with that link. Uh, but ultimately, this video is going to be going through the sourcing techniques that you can use if you have a RevSeller subscription. They've added more and more functions into their software uh, over the years, and I really do like a few of the ones that have come out, at least recently to me, um, regarding how to source quicker and uh, just a lot of cool features. So we're gonna get into that here in just a minute, but before we do, I want to remind you of the contest that I have running on this video on how you can win a free physical copy of my book, Side Hustle to Full-Time Income. All you have to do is leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and tune into the next video to see if you are the lucky winner. It also comes with a free audiobook and free mini course as well. Um, so make sure to leave that comment below and tune into the next one to see if you won. Now, let's go ahead and get into uh, this video and the, the tutorial behind RevSeller. I'm going to bring up my screen here. I just started with a base uh, product, uh, you know, a Walmart brand of Equate, and I looked up Equate uh, Sleep just because I wanted to pull something up so we could utilize this. Now, there's multiple different ways that you can use RevSeller now for sourcing. One of the ones that I really like, and I actually saw a post in my private community about this, which actually prompted me to say, oh, I should probably be showing people these features uh, that have been recently added. And the first one is this. If you were to right click on the title, you can actually go down here and click on RevSeller, search Amazon for that title. Whatever you were to highlight, it will pull this up and it will search Amazon for the words that you put in there, amazon.com. And you can start actually going through these listings to see if maybe there are some other ones for Equate. Uh, or maybe there's some other brands that you might not have heard of that you would like to then go source more of. What's great is it also pulls up if you require approval, if it's hazmat, if you can sell this in your account as long as you are logged into your seller central so that it can double check if you are approved or not. So I really love this. Now, there is one drawback to this in that it is searching the exact title that or whatever words the, that you wanted it to search. It's searching that exactly. So for instance, pack of four, it's looking for listings that have words with pack or pack of or pack of four specifically. So I would actually take out pack of four and click on search just to see if we can find anything else with 25 milligrams, 100 mini caplets, et cetera. See, it might take a little bit of time for the ASINs uh, to load. And I've seen that uh, really be an issue <laughs> while I'm doing recordings or anything like that. Um, hopefully this will pull up here in just a second. So I'll give it one second. Okay, now you can see that this has pulled up and you can see this is actually a different result that comes up. The Equate Nighttime Sleep Aid, 25 milligrams. It has zero, zero mini caplets, which is a little concerning, but it should be 100 counts, so 100 mini caplets. And it was a different listing than what it was pulling up before, all because I removed the pack of four phrase from this search. Now, if you are logged into Seller Central, you can actually click on this as well and it will do a search in Seller Central um, for these keywords. Uh, you could also start taking this out uh, um, and do whatever kind of a search that you wanted. It doesn't have to be those words. You could look up, um, I don't know, something else. Let's go with uh, Equate Baby Wipes and see what pulls up. And then it will do a search for you uh, as well. And then these ASINs will come up based off of whatever you type in. And so I like this as just a quick way. If you're on this page, a sourcing page, and you want to look for other listings that are similar or other things within that brand, you can just quickly do that in the uh, listing itself and then click into the listing to get more information. Uh, if I were to click on this, it'll open up another Amazon page with the product that I just clicked on and you can start to uh, analyze that from that page. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this to show you the next thing. So that is the first one uh, that I would utilize for sourcing purposes in your business. Again, all you have to do is essentially highlight any of these words, right click and then click on the RevSeller extension and it will do that for you. 
Now, another cool thing, and they've actually had a link for this for a while. I believe this is newer, though, uh, and I don't remember when it came out. Uh, I may just never have talked about it before. But if you click on this G um, letter right there, it will search the product title in Google. So if you found a product and you want to find out more about that product, maybe another supplier or source store that you can go to to purchase it and sell it on Amazon, well, this will search the, the Google title for you. It's just quicker than maybe copying and pasting uh, or typing it in exactly again. And it does search the exact title. So I would probably take out pack of four and I would look up uh, these things uh, as well. So that way I'd make sure I've got the exact listing that I'm looking for. So this would be probably the one that's $4.98 at Walmart. Now, uh, that would be the second one. So that will speed up your sourcing as well. All you have to do is click that and it will search the title on Google so that you can find more source stores. Now, there are uh, other things down here as well. Um, if you wanna use the graph, you can. I typically, since I have Keepa, I don't use this graph, so I'm gonna leave that closed. Um, I do like this data as well. They show the averages for the ranks, for the drops, uh, for the buy box statistics, et cetera. So if you're trying to see what is the average FBA price and can I make money at that price, if it's lower than what it's currently selling at, then you'd wanna double check, well, what's the average Average over the last 90 days, over the last 180 days. What's interesting is it's actually uh, cheaper right now uh, than it typically averages for FBA. Now, if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, though, you can a lot of times get a better buy box or a higher buy box listing it at FBA. So I would probably want to come in and not compete at this low price. I'd rather come in and compete at $35 and then I'm able to profit a little bit more based on that. But you'd want to check Keepa to see if this listing was good and if it's got a profitable history, et cetera. So that is another thing. I really do like having this. You can actually X out of that. And if you wanna get that to open, you just click this little plus sign. I like to click to have this keep open, uh, but if you don't like it, you can just unselect it and X out of it. And if you ever wanna get it back, it's this little plus sign next to the drop count there. Uh, and I'm gonna click keep open again. So that's another way. Uh, and then the next thing that I really like, uh, it would be this uh, offers and buy box winners. Uh, I'm gonna get into that in a second because it's gonna take us into a new page. I will mention though, that there is a, a feature that I don't currently use, but I think is very powerful. You can set this up to connect to Google Sheets actually. There's instructions here on how to do that. You can uh, click into the settings. You can have it pull over any data that you want and export into a specific Google Sheet if you connect your Google account. And then whenever you're on the listing page, you can have it added to your Google Sheet um, by clicking uh, on, I believe it's this Google icon right there. It will add a link or notes before exporting and it will export it to uh, that Google Sheet if you connect it. So uh, really cool to me. Uh, you can also click to export this information here. So um, a lot of cool stuff that you can do with that. I haven't dug deep into this, so that's why I'm not going to dive um, into it on the video. If people want me to uh, discuss more about these sheets and how I can export data quickly for your OA sourcing, let me know in the comments. It will also enter you in to win a, a copy of the book. Uh, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me go deeper into some of uh, the, the sheets um, connection uh, between RevSeller and Google Sheets there. Okay, now going into my last and my next uh, Next favorite, and one of my favorite uh, features of RevSeller is actually this buy box winners section. You can click on this, it will show you the different offers um, that uh, Amazon is showing uh, that are on this listing. And you can click into any of these sellers and it brings you to the storefront. So if you're somebody that wants to do some storefront stocking, find other listings that this seller has that you want to jump on. I apologize if this, any, this is anyone's storefront. Uh, but if you click into one of those brands, or you can click in, or sorry, stores, you can click into all of them. If you want, you can see all the data for their specific listings, and then you can also see their top brands, their top categories, etc. You can also show different analysis for different products that are on this current page. But whenever you click into a brand, let's say we want to click into Equate here, uh, whenever you click into that, it pulls up all the listings that they have for Equate. So you could use this as a rabbit trail for you to start sourcing more of these products and these brands on your store uh, source, like Equate would be on Walmart, right? Now, these aren't exactly listings I'm recommending people go and buy, right? <laughs> this is just how we can use RevSeller to help us source. And on this, you can see a lot of data for the buy box. Uh, you can see the ASIN specifically. Uh, you can see the UPC as well that's attached to it and the keep a graph um, that goes with it. So I really love this. It also pulls over the hazmat or the sell new options for you if you're looking to do it. Or if you're just trying to shop in a category that you know that you're ungated in, try home and kitchen. 
click on the home and kitchen listings. We'll look at all of these different home and kitchen listings. Really makes this a, a very nice. I, I personally believe that if you were to combine this with some of the other functionalities uh, from software tools where you can export the data onto a, uh, a CSV file, well, then you can run it through Keepa. And at that point, you can run that data and get all of the Keepa data product finder um, tools as well. Now, this is something that I plan to do more content on in the future. Hopefully this showed you a way that you can utilize RevSeller in a unique way that is new. If you've been using RevSeller for a long time, this might add some extra functionality for sourcing for you. Um, and if you're new to RevSeller, you can check it out and actually get a discount at askjimmysmith.com forward slash RevSeller. The link is below and in the description. Um, but again, as a reminder, uh, you can be entered in to win a copy of my book, Side Hustle to Full-Time Income. You leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel and tune into the next video. But I hope that this video helps you and bless you and I hope you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.